this video, I will be showing you how to achieve the pumping style of compression made famous in the 90s by Daft Punk and other French House artists. Famously, Daft Punk used the Alesis 3630 compressor to create this effect. The 3630 is well known for being dirty and inexpensive. Here's a clip of my 3630 doing this exact effect. As you can hear, we're using the kick drum to trigger the compressor, which then more or less sucks in the track around the kick drum. To emulate this in Logic or any other digital audio workstation, we need to put a compressor on the master channel. I'm going to use the stock Logic compressor, and I'm going to use the, the version of this compressor that emulates a VCA style hardware compressor. The compressors we have to choose from in here are the Studio VCA, the Classic VCA, and the Vintage VCA, with the Vintage VCA emulating an SSL style compressor, the Classic VCA emulating a DBX 160, and the Studio VCA emulating a Focusrite RED 3. For right now, we're going to start with the Classic VCA, and then we'll try the Vintage VCA to see what the differences are. I'm going to turn auto gain off, then we'll listen to the track without any compression, and we'll start moving some knobs around to see how we can get that pumping effect going. All right, let's check it out. So I'm gonna engage the compressor. What we're trying to do here is get the VU meter to bounce a bit. You can see it right there. And I'm gonna solo my 909 kick here and show you a bit of EQing that I'm doing to help achieve that. So, in my 909 kick track, I am boosting on the low end. Now, if you look at the meter again, I'm gonna turn the EQ off. We get much less of that kind of pushing of the compressor via the kick drum. So we're gonna kind of accentuate the low end there to try to help the pumping start. So I'm going to start to move the threshold and ratio settings around a bit to try to get that pumping started. I'm using the threshold to make sure that the kick drum can trigger the compressor. The ratio setting is going to be how much compression we are using. All right, let's check it out in practice. Here we go. I'm going to start by moving the threshold knob and seeing how far I can push it without getting any bass in there so that I get that nice back and forth motion on the VU meter. And I'm going to pump up the ratio quite a bit to see if we can start that pumping feeling. I think that's a good start. Let's open up the sidechain setting. In the sidechain section, you have a detection section, you have a multi-mode filter that happens before the detection section so that you can change the way the compressor reacts to the material. So I'm gonna start this over and we're gonna mess with the filter. I'm going to push the listen button so that we're just listening to the filter hitting the detection circuit. Now, you can low pass like I'm doing here. I would also experiment with band passing. Depending on the type of kick drum you have, low passing or band passing could work. Depending on the track, I've had a lot of luck with either peak or RMS detection. So let's toggle between max and sum and see which one works better. We're just trying to get as much pumping as possible. All right, let's listen to everything unfiltered. Let's start to check between the different types of detection and see if we can get everything start pumping. Let's move the threshold down a little bit. There we go, we're starting to really get it happening. Let's hear it without the compressor. All right, let's adjust the makeup gain to match the level of the uncompressed audio. It's pretty close. You can also do this with the Vintage VCA compressor. Let's see what that sounds like. So now you have attack, release, you have knee settings, you have this auto setting. Let's turn the auto off. Let's see what this sounds like from the beginning. Let's turn the knee all the way down. And the attack all the way up. 
Now we can turn the release up, but we're gonna start getting some distortion as you can hear there. So let's just back that off a bit. Let's compare the vintage VCA to the classic VCA. For this effect, I generally prefer the classic compared to the vintage VCA. I tend to use SSL style compression on my master bus, but I do not use it for this pumping effect very often. So this is basically it. You gotta just watch your levels. I would try to add around 2 dB extra on your kick drum, so add about 2 dB worth of volume on your kick drum to kind of make sure that this motion happens. Um, and then let's, let's turn on the distortion a bit and let's see if we can get a little, a little bit of that going on there. And lower the output volume, so we can turn the makeup down. Let's turn the output down a little bit. Let's kind of get close here. Yeah. Pretty close. That is the technique. Let's check it against the Alesis. There's a bit of a volume difference, but it's pretty close. And that is how you pump a compressor like Daft Punk.